Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one going to be on Batman Eternal issue number 21. This issue opens up with a dialogue between the Lion and Falcon and that's where we see that Falcon is actually leaving the prison after he got released but well he got hooked up again but with whom it was with Batman which was a pretty good part because we saw that Batman actually discovered that Falcon was behind whatever happened to Gordon and that's where we saw that he got invited to a party or such thing you know and uh, we saw that actually Falcon was the one who invited uh, who got invited and we even learned that he doesn't know who's pulling the strings and that's where they took us to somewhere else where we saw that Commissioner Brad and Batman had a conversation, a conservation actually, conversation, and uh, basically we saw that Batman uh, provided Brad with uh, some evidence that could, uh, you know, prove that Gordon is not guilty, and that's why we saw that Batman doesn't trust Brad anymore, which was a pretty interesting part because yeah, he is not a trustworthy guy. He should never trust him. He's nothing like. Commissioner Gordon and that's where we saw that uh, you know Alfred was under attack or actually the mansion of Wayne was under under attack and that's where we saw that uh, you know Alfred took care of his daughter he you know kind of uh, numbed her down and he wanted to take the guy on his own but he didn't know that the guy came with an ally and that's where we saw that Hush appeared which was a pretty good twist and a surprise for me one, I didn't really read much of uh, the Hush story arc that happened, but the villain himself seems pretty interesting. We don't know why is he after Alfred because he was like, "I'm after you. I'm not after after Bruce Wayne or you know anybody else. I'm not just after you." And uh, that's where we saw that Brad went to someone and he spoke to him. We don't know who is it, and that's where we saw that uh, you know Alfred has actually uh, you know so his daughter before he you know went off I don't know if he's gonna die I don't know if he gonna live but he looked pretty much messed up he got injected by something from Hush uh, I don't know what is it what is it gonna do to Alfred but I think so it's gonna do something to him maybe gonna kill him I'm not sure let's hope he doesn't die because he is a pretty good character and that's where we saw that Brad actually was talking uh, to this guy who's called architect yeah I think so he is some kind of villain I didn't really uh, hear of him before but that's where we saw that Brad was actually talking and that's where he mentioned uh, yes mother uh, and uh, you know that's where we saw that he took care of the flash that was given by you know Batman he didn't really care for the evidence which show which shows us that Brad and his mother were after uh, and you know what happened to Gordon which I'm pretty much looking forward to see what's gonna happen next who is this person behind all this thing that is happening to uh, you know Gotham and not only that but I think so uh, the, uh, the the person who was Brad talking to and called her mother uh, she was basically stalking the mansion of uh, Wayne for some reason we don't know why is that person there but I think it is Hush I'm not sure yeah I think so it is Hush I don't know why he called it mother he called her mother whatever it's just a complicated issue but it's one of the best issues out there Bad Mater number 21 it is the best issue so far the best plot twist ever you know Hush appearing Brad being the bad guy which some people already suspected because of his behavior and he didn't really care for the villains he just wanted to kill them off uh, it, it just was predictable but you know Hush appearing well that was a fucking good part I gotta say you know it was just too fucking good but other than that the issue was pretty good go ahead read it if you didn't start reading Batman Eternal, go ahead and read every single issue. Not all of them are good, but most of them are good. So thank you all guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what what are you expecting from the coming issues. Because the coming issues is going to be just fucking great. They're, the, they're going to be the best issues, I think, so of Batman Eternal so far. I know I spoke a lot of Batman Eternal, but it's, 
it is you know it is a worthy of the speak it is a good book and it really worth the time and the read so thank you all guys for watching let me know your thoughts and see you guys around take care